I'm Susan Lewis from the WRTI Performance Studio, happy to welcome astral artists Boom J. Kim, performing on flute, and astral artist Ekaterina Skliar, performing on mandolin. Take it away.
That was happy music. <laughs> we are in the WRTI Performance Studio with astral artist Bumjay Kim and Ekaterina Sklar. Bumjay, tell us about that piece. Oh, yeah, I consider Bois Mortier as a, a visionary um, because uh, he had an interesting life. He is the first Baroque composer or first co any composer to be considered to have an independent living. Uh, without any patron, he earned a, a royal license to publish his own music. Um, he's known for his um, instrumental music, cantatas, opera ballets, or vocal music. Um, it's too bad that he's shadowed by other great uh, Baroque composers. But uh, we enjoy playing this music simply because we just love the music. <laughs> <laughs> it really does lift you up. And it... It was originally written for flute and violin. Katarina, how does it translate to the mandolin? So the great part about the mandolin that it has the same exact tune as the violin. So a lot of music translates really well, but what's really different on the mandolin is the nature of the sound because it's a plucked instrument, so it's a very short and bright sound compared to the violin. And uh, I think for this piece it works really beautiful because Boa Mathieu lived at the, and wrote most of his music at the first half of the 18th century. And at that time, harpsichord was the instrument that was uh, very well known and a lot of music was written for it. So in some sense, it's like we are playing with a very small harpsichord. <laughs> Well, it was beautiful. Now, Bumjay, this next piece was part of your astral recital in December. Yes, that's correct. Um, uh, this piece, beautiful solo flute piece, is written by uh, Chicago-based composer Sean Opebolo. Uh, the piece is called On a Painting by Henry Osawa Tanner, The Thankful Poor. Um, when I was looking for composers, I listened to a lot of flute music or other music as well, but specifically flute music. But I've, um, the artistic director of Astral, Dan Visconti, sent me Sean's piece. Uh, he has a very well-known solo flute piece that's based on a poem. And I started listening to it and I fell in love with it. So I decided to uh, commission Sean through Astral's micro commission project. Um, so I was on the call with Sean and then I told him that I really love your piece based on a poem. But I really enjoy painting and I would love to have a piece that's based on a painting or inspired by a painting. And Sean says, okay. And then he called me a few weeks later saying, oh, I found a painting. Uh, here's the painter and here's the painting. It's the painting by Henry Osawa Tanner with The Thankful Poor. Tanner is Tanner is uh, an African-American painter. Uh, he was born in Philadelphia, uh, Pittsburgh and had his um, training in Philadelphia and had his artist career in Paris. And this painting is about a working class family that um, grandfather figure and grandson figure at the dining table praying for um, praying at the um, the loaf of bread that they are about to have. Um, I see there is a lot of uh, wisdom sharing conversation between the two, and there is also praying. So Sean depicts that, uh, translate that image into music. And there is a lot of uh, conversation between two characters and there's a lot of story in between. And also there's a um, soulful prayer in the beginning and also at the end. And I'm so thankful to have a wonderful piece for a solo flute like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. We look forward to it.
Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. That was that was Sean Opabola's On a Painting by Henry Asawa Tanner, The Thankful Poor. I was thinking as we listened, it really pulled you into this story. You as a visual artist, what does it mean to you to play music inspired by a painting like that? Well, um, I, when I, whenever I paint, I think about some musical notes, and also, so it's when I, whenever I play uh, other other music that's inspired by painting or looking at other work, uh, other painters' arts, I build up my own story and my own image, and so this is really really fun to understand what Sean was hearing when he was looking at the painting. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well, it was really beautiful. And now, Bomje, you grew up in Korea playing flute, uh -huh. and Ekaterina grew up in Russia playing mandolin and domra. And you have a domra here. I do have a domra right here. And domra is a very close relative of the mandolin. I usually say that it's a Russian mandolin. There are less strings, and uh, mandolin has a little bit more range. That's why usually when I'm in a collaboration where I need to play some accompaniment, I choose more, uh, I'm leaning more towards the mandolin. But domra is a very beautiful instrument that I absolutely love. So thank you for asking about it. <laughs> and you bring it with you. I do. Now, you two collaborate frequently. It's a really interesting combination. Bomje, how did you get together? Uh, we were paired by Astral Artist. Um, for, uh, our initial concert was in October, and um, finding a piece for flute and mandolin or flute and domra, that's always a challenge. <laughs> well, we took that as an opportunity that, well, if there isn't any um, music that's available, then, you know, we'll arrange something or we'll make we'll play other music that's also fun you know that's part of the um you know music making process that i i would just want to have fun <laughs> well in fact this next piece was arranged by ekaterina Yes, it's a traditional Bulgarian uh, dance tune called Gankina Hora, and it's a very wonderful tune. I first actually came across it as a child, uh, studying in a music school in Russia, and then when we were thinking with Bamja what we could play, and we discussed maybe doing some folk tunes, and I thought about this one because it's a very interesting uh piece of music in a sense that the time signature is tricky it goes back and forth between groups of two and three so it's definitely fun to play it has this amazing drive and what's really wonderful about any folk tune song or dance that in tradition there are no uh, fixed instrumentations because people would just get together and bring whatever instruments they play or they have and play and have fun so it doesn't ha mean that it must be played on button accordion or a cello or a flute and I think uh, the combination of flute and mandolin definitely works for this uh, dance, Gankina Hora, so we are definitely having a lot of fun playing it. <laughs> Gankina Hora, Bulgarian folk dance. Thank you. 
Not easy to sit still during that one. <laughs> that was wonderful. That was Gankino Hora, Bulgarian folk dance, played by Bomje Kim and Ekaterina Skler, astral artists. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your music with us. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. <laughs> To our WRTI audience, thanks for joining us in our WRTI Presents Astral series. You can revisit this performance, learn more about the artists, and more at wrti.org backslash presents astral.